Okay, again, we have another example of finding the slope of the tangent line to a function. So let's go back to the definition of the derivative yet again. And we're going to have the limit as, uh, <clears throat> sorry, h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. And we're going to start just like we started every other one. We're going to plug 4 in for x and then we're going to work from there. So this is going to be the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 4 plus h minus f of 4 all divided by h. And now we're going to plug in these values into x. So we're going to plug this in for x and then we're going to plug 4 in for x. So let me just show you that. This is going to be the limit as h approaches 0, <coughs> excuse me, of 1 divided by 4 plus h minus 1 divided by 4. So we just plug these values in for x, or into the function, I should say. Uh, and that's all going to be divided by h. And so again, we, we have a limit that we've already learned how to solve, and there should be information uh, uh, in the description where you can find the, that video so you know how to solve this type of limit if you don't already. So let's go through this. Uh, we'll find a common denominator, so we'll just um, multiply this by 4 over 4 minus, uh, we'll multiply this by 4 plus h over 4 plus h. So that will give us a common denominator. And when we simplify all of that, we'll be left with 4 minus 4 minus h. So maybe, maybe let me do it this way. 4 minus 4 plus h, all divided by 4 times 4 plus h. And then all of that is divided by h. Okay, so make sure you understand all the algebra so far, uh, how we got to this step. I'm just going to switch colors arbitrarily here. I just getting sick of that one color. So this will be the limit as h approaches 0. Um, these two 4s will, will cancel, so we'll, left, we'll be left with h divided by 4 times 4 plus h, all divided by h. And now this is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So we have h divided by 4 times 4 plus h times by 1 over h. So this, this h down here, instead of dividing by it, we're multiplying by the reciprocal. We're allowed to do that. And now these h's cancel. And what are we left with? We're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 1 divided by 4 uh, over 4 plus h. And now we can take this 0, plug it in for h, and, and solve the limit. So this will be 1 divided by 4 times 4 plus 0, which of course is just 1 divided by 4 times 4, which is equal to 1 divided by 
16. So 1 16th is our final answer. And 1 16th is the slope of the tangent line to this function when x is 4. Now, if solving this limit confused you, I do an entire video on solving a limit very similar to this one, uh, where I explain more in depth how to actually do this limit. Um, but this video is more about using that process to find this slope. Okay, so let's take a look at, at what we just did. Here is a graph of the function 1 over x, or at least part of the, the graph. There's more stuff over here that I didn't graph. But anyways, we're looking at, the, at when x is 4. So maybe this is, maybe this is when x is 4. And so what we found is the slope of the tangent line at that point, actually, you know what? x is 4 is probably more like out here. Anyways, the slope of that tangent line is 1 16th. That's what we found with this uh, by, by using the definition of the derivative. Okay, I hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video.